we come just to say we thank you. We thank you for your resurrection power. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy. Most of all, we thank you for providing salvation for a dying world. Lord God, as we come this morning, we ask right now that you open up our ears, our hearts, and our minds right now to receive your word as the man of God stand before your people. Lord God, we come asking right now that you go with our choir. Lord God, let your anointing fall afresh upon them this morning, Lord God. Go with everybody that assemble in your house this morning. Fill, fill our souls up this morning, Lord God. We come as empty vessels, Lord God. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you have your way in this service, we pray. Amen and thank God.
could imagine how those two men felt after walking mm -hmm. and talking with Jesus. Amen. They must have some gladness mm -hmm. in their heart for being able to talk to a risen Christ. Come on, come on. They had only heard about Jesus, but they had never seen him. They had never seen or ugly Jesus. But now they spent the opportunity of talking with a risen Savior. Yes. Yes. Yet they had not known who he was. Come on. Come on. But I could imagine mm -hmm. how they felt. Ah, come on. A song writer once said, I come to the garden yes. alone. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes, sir. While the dew was still on the roses, and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God is close. And the joy we share. Did you see those two men? As he tarried. Yes, so. There. Yes, so. Amen. Amen. Boys, no one had ever known. Mm -hmm. To say he walked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. With me. Yes, so. And he talked yes, with me. And yes, a joy we share yeah. as he tarried yes, there. Yes, no one yes, so. has ever no. known. We, we have an opportunity oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this morning. To listen at Jesus yeah. walk in Amen. talk yes, with us. Yes, yeah. And the distance mm -hmm. they travel with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. The distance they travel with Jesus. Yeah. It was three score furlongs. Three score for them, yeah. which they walked 60 miles with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And it took them seven hours walking and talking yeah. 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 with Jesus. Amen. First, they had a conversation among. The two of them. Yes, because the women had brought the news to those disciples that the angel told them that he had risen from the dead. This is what the two men was talking of. Moon. Themselves. And they were talking together. And they were reasoning one with the other. So they were reasoning one with the other. 
Which means they talk on one a color. Amen. Amen. And wherever there is oneness, wherever there is oneness, there is unity. Wherever there is unity, Jesus is going to show up. Amen. Amen. By those two men walking and talking together, they all had the same mind. They were one in heart. And the Bible says, by the talking and unity, Jesus, Jesus walked alone with them. Amen. Amen. How if we want Jesus, every Christian believer, if you want Jesus to keep on walking and talking with you, you got to stay on one accord. Yes, 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 that's right. And uh, another thing I notice about Jesus. As he talked with those two men, he had a great sense of humor. Even in their sadness, he met them with a great sense of humor. He said, what is this communication that you are having one with? And they tried to explain to him what they were talking about. And they said to him, two women of our company, they went to anoint the body of Jesus. And as they approached the tomb, they said, two angels met them. And he asked them, why is seeking the living among the dead? And they said that they brought the news to, to the apostles. And they said, Peter left. And went to the sepulchre. Yes. And he looked in there. And he did not see Jesus. And he said that we are hoping that it was the Jesus of Nazareth, which done mighty things before God and before all of the people. So, they said, and we hope that it was that he come to save Israel. Amen. So, just where the human part come in. He said, what are you all talking about? And they asked him, are you the only stranger? <laughs> In Jerusalem, you have not heard about these things. He said, what things? What, what things you are talking about? She said, well, today is the third day, which you were supposed to have risen. Then he said, he said, you fool. You, you have not believed what the prophet and the psalmist said, even Moses. So what he did, he began to explain the Bible to him, to them. So he went to Psalm 69. Come on, come on. 
21. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then this was the thing that caught their attention. Yeah. He said, they give me God for my meat. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Amen? Yeah. And they give me vinegar to drink. Yeah. Well, they, they knew what had happened mm-hmm. at the cross. When the priest made fun of him, when he spoke about the 22nd Psalm, he said, Eli, Eli, the beckoner, why have thou forsaken me? This is what David had said in Psalm 22. And, 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 and they begin to enjoy the conversation. Do you enjoy hearing things about the Lord? Or or, are you enjoying hearing things about our Savior this morning? So, and he went a little further with them. He went to Isaiah 53 and 5. Yeah, this, 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 this is what... He explained to them, and the more he explained to them, they're happier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he and he knew that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A preacher Come on. can see and feel yes, sir. Mm-hmm. when the people are enjoying what he is. Other words, and, and, and he and he is motivated. By the response yeah. of yeah. Yeah. And Jesus looked at these two brothers' heart mm-hmm. while he was explaining to them mm-hmm. that he had their undivided attention. Yeah. Yeah. And you know something? It's a sweet thing yeah. to hear somebody unfold the word yeah. of God. But to be able to unfold the word, they got to study. To show yourself approved. Amen. A workman that need not to be ashamed of, but rightly dividing the word. He got He got their attention. And when he realized how happy they were. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He began to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when he got to the road that was connected to the Emil's road, he pretended that he wasn't going to buy a pass uh-huh. that road. Yeah. Yeah. But they caught him. Yeah. They say, wait. Yeah. Today is well spent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the night time is mm-hmm. at hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And those Jews are still out there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. be safe and come in our house mm-hmm. and spend the night mm-hmm. with us. Yeah. 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 And when he went in the house right. to sit down to eat, with them. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. The text say he can and it came to pass. Yeah. Yeah. He sat at meat yeah. with them. You know something? With that you should realize hey. as you sit here yeah. this morning. Yeah. You're sitting at me yeah. Yeah. with the Lord. Yeah. And you should rejoice yeah. on this river direction day. Yeah. That you're sitting at me yeah. with the Lord because you are eating his word this yeah. morning. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. The text goes on to say, and he took. Bread yeah. uh-huh. and 
bless it. And break it. And give to them. Now on a mess roll, he allowed their eyes to be closed. But when he came down to sit down to eat with them, he blessed the bread and gave it to them. He said, in their eyes were open. When their eyes were open, I imagine that he prayed the same prayer Elisha did. When Elisha Young servant got up early, got up early in the morning because Elisha's enemy had surround his camp. And when the young minister saw Elisha's camp was surrounded, he got afraid. And he went to the prophet Elisha. He said, Master, what are we going to do? Look at all of the enemy surround us. And Elisha said, don't worry about them because greater are they that are with us than they that are with them. And he prayed to open the young man's eyes that he may see. So I imagine that Jesus prayed to Sam Pell when he blessed that bread. Say, so Lord, open their eyes that they may see. Are your eyes open this morning? Somebody's eyes should be open this morning. So after he prayed that prayer, they said one, to the other. Then our heart. Because after the meal, their eyes were open. But after that prayer he got out of, he vanished out of their sight. And they looked around and they didn't see him. But they remember him. The way you open up the scriptures to them. And when they looked and didn't see him, they remembered what he said to them. And they said one to the other. Then our heart burned within. Why he walk and talk with us by the wayside. Are you by the wayside this morning? Are you by the wayside this morning? And like he explained to them, surely he carried the cross Seventy and two long miles. After carrying a cross, seventy and two long miles, they took the cross and they lift him up. And when they lift him up, that brought back. 
like the sign of Moses in Numbers 21. When the people were traveling along the road, there was snake hiding in the sand along their way. And while they were walking in the desert, snake came up and bit them. And most of them died. But uh, God told Moses, Moses said to the people, I want you to make a bread servant and put on a post and rave that bread servant up and say to the people, if they have faith in the bread servant, they will live. And Jesus said in John 3 and 14, like Moses lift up the servant in the desert, yeah. if the servant man be lifted up from the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all get it this morning? Yeah. Like Moses lifted up from the desert in the desert, yeah. the servant man going to be lifted up from the earth, yeah. and he that believing in me yeah. shall live and never die, yeah. shall have everlasting life. And when they took him and put him on the cross, they put nails in his hand, they put nails in his feet, they stretched them wide, and they hung him high. And while he was hanging on the cross, 12 o'clock in the daytime, it got dark. The sun, the S-U-N, will not shine because the S-O-N was on the cross. Can you imagine how it looked on that day? But Jesus, he lifted up his eyes to the Father. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not what they do. He hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, he laid his head in the lock of his shoulder. And he prayed, he prayed, he said, Father, and to thy hand. My spirit, yeah, and what he did, that same spirit, he told his disciples about in John 16 chapter, that I must go to my father, but when I go, he's going to send you another comforter in my name and everything I told you about he gonna bring it back to your remembrance and Jesus before before he slept he told the father and to thy hand I come in my spirit and he gave he gave he gave he gave, he gave up the, the ghost, and he died, he died, he died, he died. They took him down from the cross, and they laid him in a bar, tomb. They laid him, they put a rock underneath him. My rock, they put a rock on the top of my rock. They put a rock behind my rock. They put a rock ahead of my rock. Then they seal, they seal a rock around my rock. They put a seal around my rock. They hide a God to watch my rock. 
But the same spirit, the same spirit, he put in the hand of the Father. He sat down, he sat down, the quickening spirit down, down to the grave of Jesus. He got down, he got down in the grave. That rock they put on the top of my rock was not able to hold our rock. The rock they put behind our rock was not able to hold our rock. The rock they put behind my rock was not able to hold. They put a God to watch our rock. For God, God, God sent down the quickening spirit. He got up, he got up, he got up early, 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 early. Sunday morning. I'm ready. 
very soon and you will see Amen. 